I just got one of these things, a brand new iPad, and I've always wanted to run multiple apps at the same time. I do it all the time on Android, but on iOS, it's really tricky. And I got a lot of questions about it after I'd put it in a few of my videos, so I wanna walk you through step-by-step -step how to run multiple apps side-by-side -side and in popover, so tune in. All right, let's get started. To do split screen and popover mode, your iPad needs to be in landscape mode. So let's put it first into landscape mode. And I've also slowed down this video to about 20% so we can walk really slow by it. Now, how this works is you need to first launch the application that is going to be in popover or the basically the second application that you'll put on top of the first one. So in this case, I wanna do my cadence and I bring it up first because I wanna make sure it's in the app drawer below. My Cadence is an app that I developed that helps me see how fast I'm pedaling. And I often do that when I'm watching YouTube. And you can see both those apps are in the app tray now. So YouTube is up, and it's a great example of an app that supports split screen and popover mode. Not all apps support split screen, but YouTube does. So we're gonna swipe up from the bottom to bring up the app drawer. This can be tricky, but you can get a hold of it, hopefully. Then you wanna long press on the second app here, My Cadence, and drag it over. And if it supports split screen, YouTube in this case, you'll see it enable the split screen mode. This is really cool. You get this divider in the center of the screen and you can make it one fourth, three fourths or 50, 50%. So you can see as I drag this over. Now, of course, this only works if both applications support this type of mode. In this case, both my cadence and YouTube support it fully. And here I can swipe all the way to the right and then my cadence goes fully away. We can swipe up from the bottom again and drag and drop over. Now notice to put it in popover mode, I can just drag it into the center of the screen and now it's popped over, which means it's overlaying on top of YouTube. You can drag it to the left or to the right, or in this case, also put it into split screen, which is pretty awesome. Now, that's how you can get it working and we can even see that you can minimize it and bring it back up later and it'll remain in split screen. Now, what about an application that doesn't support split screen mode, such as Apple Fitness or Peloton? I use the My Cadence application all the time with Apple Fitness Plus. However, like I said, it doesn't support split screen. So we're going to bring up the application and, you know, when you launch applications, it may be other applications may be removed from the bottom tray. So I always like to check that and you may have to launch the second application again. But here we'll swipe up from the bottom and there's my cadence once more. And here I'm going to long press and then drag and drop. And as we can see, as I bring it all the way to the right hand side or all the way to the left hand side, Apple Fitness Plus refuses to go into split screen. But don't worry, because you can still go into popover mode. Here, this works fairly well because of how the Apple Fitness Plus application is set up, where I can see all my metrics on the left-hand side. Now, in this case here, again, you can move it to the left or right. You can drag and drop it. But again, since Apple Fitness Plus doesn't support split screen, I won't be able to go into split screen mode. There we go. The easiest way to remove a pop over application it can actually be a little bit tricky. What I recommend doing is bringing it over to the right hand side and that little grippy section on the very top, just swipe it really fast to the right and it will go away. And there you go. You now have split screen and popover mode on your iPad. All right, there you have it. It's just that easy to start doing split screen on your iPad or popover mode, of course, if the app supports it. Hope you really enjoyed this video and other tech tips here on my channel. Hope that you subscribe, like it if you found this helpful and thanks for watching.